on. On air, online, on mobile. Fox Toledo News at 6.30 starts right now. A Toledo tradition might be closing after more than five decades. Good evening, I'm Sean Hagerty. Laura Emerson is off tonight. Here's the news for Friday, October 22nd. Dudley's Diner is going on the auction block by order of a bank. Fox Toledo's Kevin Milliken spoke with the co-owner who says she's ready to hang up the apron anyway. Dudley's Drive-In started in 1955, then converted to a diner about 10 years ago. Now the retiring restaurateur is being forced to auction off everything, including memorabilia, menus, and secret recipes for signature hot dogs and hamburgers. It's a sign of the times outside Dudley's Diner, a bank forcing the Reynolds Road restaurant to be sold at auction next week. A combination of tough times and too much competition. Dudley's is open right now, but the future is unclear. We're not doing as well as we used to, and that's so different. Besides, I'm 79 years old and I'm tired. Ready to retire? <laughs> I'm ready to retire. Philosophical about the future, Juanita wants to enjoy life after five decades of running the register, running orders, and just running around. She's real spitfire. Dudley's Drive-In became a popular hamburger and hot dog hangout in the 1950s and 60s. We had car hop service. Uh, the cars came in, the girls waited on them, and that never on roller skates. About a decade ago, the drive-in became a diner. The signature burgers and dogs remained, even the milkshakes and malts. But the booths aren't as busy anymore. They've got really good food. The waitresses are very friendly. So I'm really going to miss the place. Um, I hope somebody buys it and keeps it open. Yeah, that's a shame. It's a bittersweet end to life behind the lunch counter. The only one Juanita's ever known. I got a lot of fantastic customers, and they're loyal. Now, Toledo's a test market for restaurants, and Juanita jokes there are more places to eat around town than there are churches. But she might be right. Dudley's Diner will continue operating 45 days after the auction. Current owners hope to hand off to a new owner without closing. But that's the big unknown right now. Reporting live, Kevin Milliken, Fox Toledo News. All right, sad to see you go, Kevin. And because mom-and-pop shops are being replaced by chain stores and restaurants, is Toledo losing its character? It's our feedback question tonight. You can comment on Twitter, Facebook, or just send us an email.